Welcome back, everybody, to the grand finale of Victors and Vanquished. We have but a single scenario left. Galleon bling here. Capture a Spanish Galleon. Let's do it, Drake. 1572. In the summer of 1572, Francis Drake reached the Caribbean after two long months at sea. From his ship, he saw the rising outlines of the islands. These were part of the lifeblood of the Spanish Empire, the stopping points for galleons filled with gold and silver mined in Peru. Drake knew that the Spanish king and his viceroy were greedy. The cannons on these galleons had been removed to make more room for gold. With his own England threatened by the Spanish king, Drake concocted his daring plan to plunder the Caribbean and seize these unarmed galleons. If all went well, the Spanish would have no idea what would hit them, and Drake would become a rich man. If I knew any Drake songs, I'd certainly take the opportunity to make a lot of Drake-related jokes here. Plunder 40,000 gold! Francis Drake must survive! The Pasha and Swan must survive! Gold can be plundered by capturing Spanish galleons and raiding enemy colonies. To raid a colony, kill all the Viceroy's men, and destroy all the towers in a settlement or on an island. Drake's men will then plunder the possessions of the settlers. The Pasha is Drake's flagship. It can be upgraded by finding sailors. Her shots tear through multiple ships, making smart positioning the key to winning battles. The Pasha is very weak against land units, however, and should not venture too close to shore. The Swan is a unique ship, capable of capturing enemy vessels. The ship's marines must rest between boarding actions, however, so the Swan is best to use quick hit-and-run actions, protected by the larger Pasha. It's basically a water monk, I remember that. Spanish cannon galleons are so laden with gold and silver that their cannons have been removed to hold more riches. Therefore, these ships cannot attack and move very slowly. Galleons are protected by faster warships. Drawing these escorts away from the galleons will leave the galleons vulnerable to boarding. When the galleon is captured, the Drake's settlers will begin unloading its treasures and scuttling the ship. It should avoid combat and damage to maximize the amount of gold plundered. Explore uh, the Spanish main to find French pirates and African former slaves who will join Drake. There may even be a hero or two among them. Francis Drake has reached the Spanish Caribbean with two ships and a retinue of soldiers. He carries a letter of marquee from Queen Elizabeth, allowing him to plunder the Spanish ships and ports. The Spanish have several colonies on the islands and the mainland. A viceroy is charged with defending these colonies from pirate attacks. If the viceroy's men are killed, however, the Spanish settlements will be easily plundered. Spanish treasure galleons sail from various ports, carrying gold and silver from the colonies. These ships are slow and vulnerable, and yeah, they are protected. Other daring men seek the same opportunities here. Drake will be able to find sailors and soldiers throughout the islands and beaches. Likewise, Drake can also find former slaves called Maroons, who will join him to get revenge on their erstwhile Spanish slavers. Finally, the remnants of native cultures cling to the jungles of the Yucatan and remote reaches of other lands. Spanish conquistadors have ventured into these areas in pursuit of gold, but few have returned. Sailors! Here's the Pasha. Flies across these waters. On the isles the Spanish claim, there are glories and adventure. Adventure! Gold. Gold that we can take from these Spanish devils. My flagship, the Pasha, named after the holiest day in the calendar. It has a skeleton crew and the boards are weathered by the voyage. I will need to find sailors to man the rigging. Ah, there may be some good Frenchmen and some of old Hawkins men around. The little swan. Do not underestimate it. It carries a crew of fiercer marines who can board and take any Spanish guy. Yeah. Uh, can't I just convert you? Yeah, see? Okay, I think these are the Bahamas. I don't remember where anything is in this scenario, unfortunately. The missionary says that natives refuse the word of God. He asks that you take him from this island. Happens. And I guess we'll start up oh, a sailor. Get on board, mate. The Pasha could use another savvy sailor. Okay, so we get a, what a couple extra attack and like ten more HP or something like that. Yeah, these are the Bahamas. So let's go to Florida. The only Maroon. oh former slaves taken from their homelands in Africa. They have broken their bonds and now live as free men and women. Very good. Hooray for not slavery. 
We here at Ordinal A, we hold very controversial opinions. Yeah, here's Florida. Finally part of the mainland America. Iroquois warrior. The Iroquois did not live in Florida. Anyway, let's go say to T90. He should be somewhere around here. Want to be my friend? Maybe Drake himself? These would be the Everglades. Finally, you're able to get to my country in the AOE 2 time frame. Like, is there literally anything for me to do to interact with these guys? It sure doesn't look like it. Anyway, St. Augustine, I think, should be here on the island. Anyway, everyone's in Castle Age, so it's not, like, full post-imp for everybody. Oops. Help me find her. All right, our fleet is growing. Like, this is where Miami will be built, you know, many long years later. Yeah, this would be St. Augustine. Anything we can bombard from the shore? Well, that's a bombard tower. Okay. Well, let's not use the ships for that. They don't have murder holes, so we can just uh, dive in. Trying to get those conks on my side. Yeah, they don't have murder holes. No, the monk straight into the line of fire. Get that. Man, having that monk alive would be pretty nice, but you know, there's only so much you can ask for with uh, Ornlu Micro. All right, I think before we go into like. Mexico, and I think we go all the way down to South America, and, you know, the Arenico Basin. Uh, let's go for the Caribbean first. Let's be like Captain Jack Sparrow and the Pirates of the Caribbean. Anyway, this should be Cuba. Oh, <laughs> that uh, is the sound of uh, me panicking. Ahoy, galleon! Close with it, mates. <laughs> Dear Swan, sunk like my. I was hoping the conversion would be a bit faster. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is so long ago. Rage. Well, at least this time I can possibly not lose my monk. Let's get you. Okay, well, while they're doing that, we can keep on pressing forward. And we'll get St. Augustine. Now on to Cuba. But yeah, getting some cannon galleons would be awesome. Unfortunately, um, the Spanish faster firing Cannon Galleons is tied to the sieve and not the unit. It's one of those few bonuses that is not going to be unit specific, but sieve specific. Take the gunpowder and the gold. Okay, there are the Galleons. The galleon is very slow. I don't know where it's gone, though. Where on earth did the galleon go? Wow. Unfortunate. Oh, there it is. That should be giving us plenty of gold. Guard the captured galleon, men. We must unload its cargo before scuttling it. Oh, yep. Forgot that that was the achievement. Yep, this is gonna be Hispaniola. Or get on board, mate. The Pasha could use another Puerto Rico. No, no, it's Hispaniola. Puerto Rico is one over. Oh, the Pasha is stronger. Where is the Pasha, actually? Oh, here it is. Yay. 
Oh, it doesn't get more attack. I think it just gets more HP. So we're already a quarter of the way to our goal. Get that. Onward and upward. Yeah, this is Puerto Rico. Right. They just don't have that many units over here. Wait, what? Oh! Come on. Oh, never mind. You're like 1 HP. Spaniards, your viceroy cannot protect you anymore. Give me your coins, or I will send my men to open every chest and overturn every bed. And then when you do, we're going to... Give us all your money. We're going to do all that stuff anyway, just to make sure you aren't holding out. As is tradition. Oh, we never even got a uh, Cuba. We need to go back for that one. Oh, let's get you. What? No, go. You're Spanish! I do not wish to kill you, but I will if you resist. Yes. Turn over your coins and jewelry. Okay, this is going to be all of the uh, the lesser Antilles. Yep. Get on board, mate. The Pasha could use another savvy sailor. Oh, okay. So now we got increased range for the Pasha. This arb is also stuck here because for some reason we don't have dry dock. That's kind of lame, actually. This can't be South America already. I mean, it's obviously going to be a very truncated world map. Alright, uh, like I said, we're gonna do the Caribbean before we jump into South America. It's like uh, Aruba or Curaçao or something. Oh, whoops. Wrong island. I meant to go to Cuba. Oh, 
right, this is going to be Jamaica. Yep. Get on board, mate. The Pasha could use another savvy sailor. Okay, got that. Oh, whoa, you're low HP. Not that I'd ever lose this ship. Get the Pasha. Would you even argue that the ship is brimming with booty? Oh, well, that's he not going to give us much gold, unfortunately. Anyway, we're making good progress here. For the sake of not having the video last longer than it needs to. Let's just uh, start bringing everyone back. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There we go. Did I not get everything? Oh, so I can go back down to normal speed. What did I miss here? Anyway, let's go towards Jamaica. Seriously, what did I miss? And they're just the natives, but that's it. Oh, got some show tells. Oh, come on. Another cannon galleon, shall we? Oh, we got it somewhere. Turn over your coins and jewelry. Viceroy's men here are all dead. Take from the settlers. Spare their lives if they give you no trouble. Kill them otherwise. All right. Got another cannon galleon. Anyway, this should have most of the Caribbean under our uh, plundering control. There aren't any major islands left, at least. Maybe like the, the Virgin Islands. Like somewhere over here ish. So let's go over towards. Uh, Mexico. Maybe there's like a sailor over here or something. Mm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, getting lots of dudes. Yeah, 
Right. Leave these natives be. We come for Spanish, not to meddle. But I like meddling. It's my favorite. Anyway, unless uh, they randomly have something in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, I don't think that there should be a whole lot over here. A demo? Okay, this is the going to be the Yucatan. Close with it, mates. Get that. This is why we convert the cannon galleons, guys. All right, get on board. Guard the captured galleon, men. We must unload its cargo before scuttling it. Oh, that's not friendly. But no. Yeah, the Spanish trade in Africa with Rio Hacha. You take that fort, and the Maroons will fight with us. Very good. They have no other choice this far from Africa. I guess we can land over here. Ah. <sighs> Alrighty. That is an enemy keep. Well, at least the war galley will help here I don't know if you can range that I am struck down wait what oh <sighs> Frickin' great. Leave these natives be. We come for Spanish, not to meddle. And they all died there. Yay. 
All right. Ahoy, galleon! Close with it, mates. Guard the captured galleon, men. We must unload its cargo before scuttling it. Do that. Does this thing have, like, no range? It has 10 range. How is that not in range before? Missionary. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Well, this is going on. These guys are going to go back out this way. I'm going to start searching along the coast again. Because that will obviously take a hot minute to destroy. We lost almost our entire army. What? Okay, looks like that can't range. Go around this side of the Yucatan. The Yucky Tan. Sailor. Get on board, mate. The Pasha could use another savvy sailor. Oh, its range has increased again. We're at nine range right now, which is pretty good. It seems to like all be natives stuff. Anyway, here's another settlement. Got Veracruz. Check the officer's quarters for the soldier's pay. Guess we'll go down the coast. Anyway, there's like a lot of natives over here. I kind of want to send Drake over and see what's going on. Because I seem to remember the last time I played it, I kind of went the South America route, so I kind of wanted to go the Central American route this time. But there really doesn't seem to be a whole lot here. Not much for us to do. Yes. 
See what's going on over here. Don't really know what would be inland. Some more native stuff, I suppose. Gotta use our famous Britain hand cannons. Oh, he got it? Got it. Spaniards! Your viceroy cannot protect you anymore. Give me your coins, or I will send my men to open every. I seem to remember us saying that already. All right. Well, let's just keep going down the coast, I guess. Anybody over here? It's a quarrel. among the dead, tattooed and pierced. Imagine living among heathens and accepting their ways. Oh my goodness! What just happened over here? Oh! Well, at least we got some demo wraps from this. Or, uh, and some regular soldiers. Does this do anything? Wait, where did this thing go? All right. Look at all this jungly jungle. cannot understand the lost Spaniard. Feels bad, man. Galleon ahoy! That Spanish ship is brimming with gold. Did, did I lose another one of the cannon galleons? Ugh. Do the natives do anything? <laughs> I thought we might be able to recruit some or something. What? Oh. Well, let's bring the empty transport back up this way. Are you kidding me? Well, as it turns out, there was, like, nothing over there anyway. Like, 
For all of the scouting I did, there really wasn't anything for us. Okay, let's get that conk. I got Trujillo. Your viceroy cannot protect you anymore. Give me your coins, or I will send my men to open every chest and overturn every bed. Okay, we've got that hand cannon. Moving down the coast. 3,200 gold. Okay. Let's get ourselves a third cannon galleon and not, like, lose that one and another one in the process somehow, like I did. All right. Galleon ahoy! That Spanish ship is brimming with gold. Again, the correct term is brimming with booty. Okay, well, whatever. I wonder if whatever city this is supposed to be, plus the uh, that galleon, will be enough to put us over the top. No, 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 no. Guard the captured galleon, men. We must unload its cargo before scuttling it. The Viceroy keeps his cannons in the workshop there. At nombre de Dios. You take that fort, we have a cannon. Number of God? This isn't that what that translates to? I seriously need a hundred more gold. Look for a bombard in the workshop. Oh, look at that, the bomber can's only 225. I'm seriously a hundred gold off. You have got to be kidding me. Yeah, I doubt anything's over this way. Monsieur Drake! Guillaume de Oh, it's Guillaume de Testu. Let us go. I am too old to wait around under these palm trees. My blade is getting dry. Ha! We will fight the Spanish with our own weapons! All right, send you guys back. Let's see if I can't find a way to scrounge up a hundred gold. <laughs> ah! trade in Africa with Rio Hacha. You take that fort, and the Maroons will fight with us. They have no other choice this far from Africa. What? I told you guys to board the ship. Why are you going this way? Ready. 
Doing a little number here. Destroy the gates. Those guys, forgot about those guys. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Yeah, uh, it was more dudes than I initially anticipated. Yeah. Got it. Uh, we got it. We. Okay, here we go. The Spanish are no match for the English lion. We will return to dear old England with stories to make the land lovers jealous. Much gold in our pockets. All right. Uh, where is the Pasha? Here it is. His raids. Francis Drake caused so much trouble for the Spanish that they gave him a name ruefully spoken. Al Drake. But Drake was not yet finished. He would go on to raid the coast of California circumnavigate the globe, and then, in 1588, he helped defeat the Spanish Armada. Yep. All right. Uh, <laughs> didn't actually uh, play that well, but, you know, you know, it could have been worse. Anyway, there's definitely still stuff to see on the map. Okay, there's one more saboteur over here by the looks of things. Some more maroons. Yeah, I have no idea what the whole point of this is with uh, Eats Quaddle over there. Just dying. This dude. I don't know what the point of the natives is. Uh, the natives are in general other than some eye candy. And yeah, maybe that's all they are and that's okay. I think this is Lake hey. Nicaragua. Uh, oh, yeah, here was Cimarron Warrior. Maybe that was the, the dude's wife. Or, wait, Diego? Okay, maybe, maybe not. Uh, anyway, we took that for... Did we... We actually did basically everything, now that I think about it. I mean, there were a few odds and ends here that we didn't destroy, but, I mean, we took down all the major settlements. Well, guys, that is it for Victors and Vanquished. We did them all. Got the gold medals on all of them. The only achievements we didn't do, uh, at least that I haven't done yet, uh, were two that I was doing with Philadelphia, so I wasn't as concerned about doing the achievements. Well, this one I wanted to do, but I didn't get yet. And then uh, doing Feta before 15th of May. I'll just probably do those off screen. But we did still did a reasonable guide for all of the other achievements to get in the game. Anyway, thank you all so much for Victors and Vanquished, guys. I will be doing um, a review of them, you know, the put the tier list thingy. Um, so that'll be coming uh, pretty soon after this series is done. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.